Step three in making a read aloud EPUB is adding text on a path. Right, so from step two, we've got all our um, text nicely uh, identified. All the text in text frames has been added to the read aloud panel. Um, but on this spread, this is the first instance of some text on a path, and that actually hasn't been added yet. So we have to go in and do a little bit more uh, with that in the circular flow read aloud tools. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to select that and click on the prepare read aloud button. So it's the same button. Um, and it's just saying I've now got a selected text on a path and it confirms the page. So yes, OK. I click on that and you can see it identifies. It knows that it's text on a path. It knows where it is and it actually takes the word from the text on the path. But sometimes, as in this case, depending on the styling, you might have to adjust a little bit because this is actually going to turn it into a graphic for later on. So that's that's all we need to do. Um, this next spread, however, gets a little bit more uh, exciting because this is the most sort of complex spread of the book. So if I'm a good shot, I can um, select more than one of these. So if I select that one and that one, there we go. Um, prepare read aloud. So I've selected two text on the paths. It says selected two text on the paths for page 12. OK. And it's going to identify each word. Uh, check it out. There you go. And you can see there it's not quite uh, managed to get the the boundaries of the words. And what we're trying to do here really is to split individual words into their own regions. Now that's going to be fine. Um, let me show you. If I drag that over here, there's the, the word check it is not in the same area as the out. So that's OK. It doesn't matter if it overlaps. Sometimes that might be an issue. And if I do it in the reading order, then I don't have to adjust that later on. So uh, let me just move that up here. And uh, so check it out. Pretty amazing. Huh? So I'll select that one. Click the same button. Prepare read aloud button. Now this is more horizontal text, so it's probably going to get this positioning fine first time. So that's good. And uh, let me just zoom in and have a look. The little bit of cropping on there, so I'm just going to I'm just using my regular InDesign tools to do this. So just making text frames. I'm so fancy. So select that one. And because I'm selecting them in the in the order, um, it's going to be adding them over here to this panel. So check it out. Pretty amazing, huh? Here it comes. I am so fancy. All right, a bit of tidying up to do here. So that's why this is this is a good example. Oh, oh yeah, and this is a case where actually I'm has got a little tiny bit of the so in there. So I would just take that in a little bit. I'm so fancy, and on this one I'll just make that bigger. Um, you can actually use other tools. You could use your pencil tool or your pen tool to be changing these. They're just in design frames. Um, so maybe I'll do that on another one just to show you that. So and over here, I'm on, a new, I'm on a new page now. So if I click this one, way better than a ribbon. It should identify, yeah, two paths now on page 13. OK, so it's going to do its stuff. Um, I will switch to the pencil tool to tidy up this one, I think. Just waiting for it to add it to the read aloud panel. Okay, so if I do that, let me just hide circular flow panels. You could just do that with Apple H. Um, so the pencil tool, let me try this. If I select, I think that's the trick, select it before you draw, and then you can get a nice way to sort of uh, select and better. Is a oh. Try again. Mm. Better, that's better. <laughs> um, and this one, it's going to select the box. I don't really need to do it on this one, but I'm now on that tool. There we go. Than a ribbon. And I'll just do these back on the regular selection tool. Way better than a ribbon. Don't you love it? So switch back to circular flow, click on the prepare read loud button. It confirms what that's what I want to do. Mm. 
You might be able to hear my laptop's fans today. I think because I'm doing the recording of the video, things are a little bit slower than they usually are, but I don't want to make any excuses. Um, so we're going as quickly as we can. So here we go. Um, don't you love it? It doesn't take that long to just make sure that these are selected exactly. Now, I think it's quite hard to select all of these. I might just do them one at a time. So exceptional. And next one is don't you. You know that trick of holding down the Apple key, right? To get to something behind something else in InDesign. Just using that one here. It helps you select multiple uh, objects that are overlapping. Exceptional, don't you, and think. So I'm in there clicking on that button. There we go. I'm just going to drag that over here to show you. So don't, exceptional, you think, etc. Okay, so that is that whole complex spread, both left and right hand page is done, and all the text is in the right order. Cool. Let me carry on. Uh, there's a little bit more of uh, text on a path. Here's some. So, oh no, where is my beautiful gold horn? So I'm selecting that, clicking on that button. Switching back to my uh, black arrow. Now it's added the words oh no at the bottom or actually they've been read out at the top. So I think we're going to address that in the next uh, little video. So we'll, we'll wait for that. So wah is the next one. Select that, click on the button. You're getting the idea, right? This is an interesting one because this would be hard if not impossible to do with uh, live text because there's a change of styling within the word um, so where it says wire and we've got obviously a, a different sizing of the font that's where making it a graphic really is important because uh, that will work no problem as a graphic same with these where they've got maybe a difference of um, styling maybe the comma or the full stop is not exactly the same size so just by selecting this and I'm just going to create it as a as a graphic so here we go cry 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 the positioning of that needs tidying up again so to back to my black arrow and just tidying that up I just don't want to clip oops don't want to clip the that bit there that's it okay I think we're nearly done let's have a look Uh -huh. I'm just looking for any text on path. There's one. Yeah, that's the last one. So sploosh, and we're done. Okay, so this is preparing all of the text on the text on a path. Oh, where's it gone? Sploosh, this looks like it. Okay, sploosh. Prepare, read aloud. Down on page 25. Back to my black arrow. Sploosh. Done. Great. Okay, on to the next step.